All right. And uh, hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Planetary Ashes podcast. I'm here, as always, me, Mitch, a.k.a. Colonel Phoenix. And I got a couple, I got two recurring guests with us. We got Luca online. Hello. And we got Chris Tholsky with us as well. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? So, and we also got our newcomer with us. We got Billy Cholk. Hi. So, Billy, since you are new to the podcast, so what do you basically do for your channel? I do gaming tech um, whatever videos, basically it can be anything from making dubstep parodies to a gaming video, so, yeah. Yeah, and hopefully another person will be coming with us will be Rob, uh, Robert Beckley, if he could sort his stuff out, but anyway, well, he just left, um, <laughs> as always, as some people normally does on the podcast, if you thought. But um, we got a couple of topics today. We got the EB Games Expo recap, where me, Luke, and Robert Beckley actually went off to last weekend, and it was actually quite fun, wasn't it? Indeed, it was. And um, the new iPhone 6 band test, which, um, uh, Billy, you'll be having that topic for yourself. Would you be talking about that? Um, I guess if you want me to, but whatever. Yeah. Live demonstration. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> I currently only have a HTC with me. All right. HTC, they're good phones. So yeah, let's actually talk about the iPhone 6 that recently came out. Um, uh, actually, uh, Billy, mind telling us what day the iPhone 6 came out and why people are a little bit pissed off at the fact of it? Uh... Hang on. Uh, I'm asking Google right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it until he's done. Um, yeah, thank you. The manufacturing of the frame, they used a low-quality aluminium, which anyone with a basic knowledge of metals knows bends if you apply force to it. Yeah. Although, if you don't go out of your way to apply said force, then you won't have an issue, but, you know, people are uh, easily amused and took to bending their bones just to see that aluminium bends shock horror. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and, if, and if you want the phone to have the weight that it does, aluminium is pretty much your only option. So. And how... And how much does the iPhone 6 cost exactly? Too much. Way, way too much. Oh, God. <laughs> so, so... Take it out of titanium and you're adding a few zeros to that. So people have bought an iPhone 6 that bends. Shouldn't they actually test the manufacturing first before they release it? Well, it's not Probably. really something you'd expect to happen. You don't sell a phone expecting people to stand there and try and... Snap it in half. Mm, no. Uh, I know about some of the reviewers out there. Mm. Mm, yikes. Middle this guy, a YouTuber, he had an iPhone 4, like one from way back, and he tripped and fell on that, and that had an interesting little curve in it. So it's not a recent development. It's just because they're thinner, it's a little more likely, I guess. Mm. Yeah, indeed. I'm I'm not quite sure if I if I'm not quite sure if they will be able to fix that problem during the future with iPhones or they're gonna keep going with the same um, manufacturing um, idea with the iPhone with the slight bend along the way once people start to buy it. So that could be something. Hopefully they can fix it during the long run. While making a new iPhone, mm. Mm. Uh, they wouldn't change the interface. They wouldn't change the actual design of it because to make them a lot of money, so they will stick to the same model. Hmm. True. But let's let's move on to a different topic: the EB Games Expo, shall we? Yeah, that was good, really good, but I wasn't there. I didn't go. Yeah. 
basically, basically, I was supposed to set up a podcast during that weekend, but unfortunately, I wasn't. I wasn't actually quite ready because I got my head wrapped around with um, interviewing other people and taking photos with other people. So, yeah, that didn't go so good. But, but we saw some interesting cosplayers, didn't we? Yeah, well, that's what uh, Liam and I focused on. Uh, cause we didn't really pay all that much attention to the games and the new releases because you know there's about 300 media people doing exactly that we were there for the people yeah space and uh we just liam's just finished editing the uh day one video so we're going to upload that as soon as the end card's finished but yeah some of the cosplay there was incredible and yeah uh, cosplaying it's okay but i'm getting sick of the people cosplaying <laughs> it's a good thing but like between saying guys are like a are just horrible. Yeah. But with but I think I actually caught a very good photo of one of the cosplayers. Um what was it? I think um I think it was one of the girls who had one of those pink jumpsuits that were halfly zipped up and with a pink chainsaw. I was just uh, like Lollipop chainsaw. Lollipop chainsaw. Yeah, there's a girl that had like neon lights all throughout her chainsaw, and it was incredible. Yeah. But the the best one I saw over the weekend was a uh, Ruby cosplay, but it was a seven foot, two hundred kilo bloke. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was amazing. <laughs> well, hang on, just to stop you right there, we got uh, we got our person Robert Beckley. Thank you, man, for joining the podcast. So, but, hey, can you hear us, Robert? Yes, yeah. All right. So, what do you basically do, Robert? Uh, a lot of nothing, to be honest. A lot of nothing? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like me. Yeah. Uh, so, we're, we're actually on the topic about the um, EB Games Expo right now, and you just oh, yes. yeah, came right that in. It was very fun. Indeed. It was actually yeah, it was. It was very fun yeah. indeed. So, so, so out of us three that went to the EB Games Expo, what has to be the, what's the most played games that you actually played during the EB Games Expo? Um, was, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, that's horrible, man. Mm. Did you hear about the news about that game? The what? Did you hear about the news about the game? No. They downgraded the frames. Oh, no. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would they do that? I don't know. They downgraded it to 30 FPS. Uh, no, 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 just having said no. That, I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog down at the Retro Games Garden for quite a while. <laughs> oh, cool. I saw Sonic's cool. Yeah. yeah. And okay. the laser tag arena. Did you guys go to the laser tag? Yeah, yeah, I did. That was cool. Apparently, I end up getting Charlie Horse for that. <laughs> Next, uh, was Batman the game there at the expo? Batman Arkham Knight. Um, Batman was there, but the game wasn't. It was only for. <laughs> it was only for. Oh, not the game. Sorry. <laughs> right, yeah, but he turned up. So. <laughs> What about you, Robert Beckley? What game have you played during the EB Games Expo? I played a fair few rounds of Borderlands, to be honest. Fair yeah, the, the, the new one, the prequel one? Sequel, prequel? Yeah. yeah. The pre-sequel. The pre-sequel. Yeah. <laughs> Just to confuse absolutely everybody. Yeah. Man, I've played the ever little shit out of um, Evolve. It's very fun. Yeah, I was going to have a crack at that but I don't line up for things so, uh, <laughs> some of the lines were ridiculously long, long yeah but other than that I've been playing the Evelyn crap out of um, Killer Instinct the Xbox One version yeah <laughs> if I if you can't flirt with the booth girl to get straight into the game then I don't bother wait how were how were the booth girls anyway how old were they that's, that's a pretty ambiguous, ambiguous oh, question 
Only night time. What? That was, <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> Hang on, um, I'll just mute mute him. Uh, never mind. <laughs> or he could do that. That's um. Uh, uh, thank you, Christian. We didn't need to hear that. But um, yeah. Um, how old were they? How old the Booth girls exactly? I'm fairly sure it was an open range from 18 up to wherever. Yeah. 40. I think the 40 around 40 was the oldest one I, I had a conversation with. 18 to 40, probably. I think in the Evolve lineup, I was just like waiting in line and thinking, holy shit, that girl is smoking hot. And I was thinking, is she in, the, is she in 18s or 19s? I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah. Good old beef girls, eh? Good old beef girls. We just, it's always, it's always nice to see a beef girl like about almost a about 18 to 19, but the older ones, oh, good God. You don't you, uh, have you guys seen the trailer that Liam uploaded to my channel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The trailer's great. I can't wait to see the full video. All right, all right. The Dancing with the Razor Girls, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. And there's a whole lot of Robot Wars in there as well, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, you should probably tell people they had Robot Wars there. yeah. Robot Wars. I didn't actually. I didn't actually sit down to watch Robot Wars. I was actually moving around a lot. Mm. Mm. No, the Robot Wars was pretty amazing. Yeah, I should have sat down and have a break after the long walk. God Especially, damn! Yeah. When the uh, when the twenty five kilo robots came out, and that was hectic. <laughs> <laughs> the um the massive. I think um I think there was one show that I liked the most. It was the um the Dark Room. John Robson hosts that. Mm -hmm. It's just very funny, but um I just managed to walk in and one of the players were actually playing the game and um there was one option called um Wanks Furiously Green. <laughs> And everyone was yelling green, 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 and he actually went for green, wanks furiously, and we were laughing. Everyone was laughing mononically because of he chose green, wanks furiously. <laughs> then there was one kid who played as well, and he saw there was another option say, my finger was flipping, my finger is flipping off at you. And um, he decided to be a good little kid for about five seconds, and he decided to flip him the bird. <laughs> As you do. As you do. But, um, yeah. So, Robert, uh, Robert, what have you been doing during the... Actually, what have everyone been doing during the EB Games Expo while not playing games, honestly? Uh, interviewing cosplayers. Robert? The majority of it was playing and looking at new games, but... Generally talking to people, looking at all the awesome cosplays that were there as well. Falling asleep in that beanbag lounge with me and Liam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was yeah. the best part of the expo. <laughs> um, me, I just been buying stuff like um, Steam, Steam card vouchers to actually buy a couple more games for Steam. Mm. Other than that, I've just been walking around having drinks. That's all. Drinking those mana potions, which give you a heart attack. Oh, uh, I was about to say that, and you beat me to it. Damn it! <laughs> I was those about... things are the devil. How can you, anyone consume those? Uh, talk talk about that. My brother and sister had about three of them. Are they now comatose? <laughs> no, they um, they were they stayed up hyperactive for at least fifteen hours and. I was thinking, oh boy, they're gonna have a bloody heart attack somewhere along the line. Oh yeah, okay. it's all over the shop. Yeah, but Jesus Christ, how could yes. someone? How could someone drink that? They're so they're thick. The liquid is actually thick with energy. <laughs> yeah, yikes. Mm. And that's pretty much signing your own will, saying. 
I'm sorry, I'm going to have about three mana potions. I might be dying soon. I leave my $500 to my wife. I leave, <laughs> I leave my house to my kids and family and everything else. It could go somewhere else. <laughs> Good God. But, yeah. Don't drink that kind of mana potion, Billy, if you ever think about going to the EB Games Expo. If he's still there. Oh, I just realised my microphone was muted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't drink those kind of mana potions. Those are... Uh, okay. You, your chest will explode with power. Yes. So did you did you actually try one, Luke? Did you actually try one of those mana potions? Yeah, I tried it, and then, like, my cardiovascular system just, like, went into overdrive, <laughs> and Liam had to spend the rest of the time trying to babysit me because I was... <laughs> Freaking bouncing off the walls. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Liam right now due to the fact that you were bouncing off the walls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm bad enough without bloody rocket fuel in my veins. Rob, oh, yeah. Rob can attest to it. He was there. <laughs> yeah. Rob, you still there? Yeah. We was dancing. Where are we, Rob? It's you on camera. camera. Everywhere. Don't lie. You use both cameras, batteries, and SD cards full of dancing. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> There's going to be a whole separate video of just dancing. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see it. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, I've got one video of uh, uh, Friday. I've got a video of Saturday. Uh, there's going to be one of just the dancing. I, I did a dance in front of every game booth. <laughs> and there's going to be a, another video of just... Um, Flybys of cosplayers, just like right. orbiting shots of their costumes and all that jazz. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, with the that's so actually look online amazing. and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jump online and have a look. But um, yeah, I have to say, Laser Skirmish didn't have quite a variety of weapons that you can actually choose from. You only have two weapons. You only got the pistol and the assault rifle, pretty yeah. much. But uh, and by Saturday afternoon, most of them were broken as well. So. Oh, unfortunately, a couple of kids actually got uh, uh how how can I put this? Got hurt by melee attack by the other players along the way. Like it's just, that's just dumb. Like they actually used the gun to actually melee, like melee them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Is that why they specifically warned us not to do that? Yes. Yes, that's why they said that specifically. Don't melee attack the other players. Mm. I don't just play get it. <sighs> Good God. <laughs> but um yeah I was actually I was actually going to play the... I was actually thinking about lining up for the Evil Within, and I was thinking, line of C4, nope. That's great. Just so you know. Sorry, no. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. I freaking did brain surgery on myself and died. What well, kind of game is that? Holy shit. <laughs> now I feel like I want to buy the game even more, because it's That's so... Amazing. It's so amazing and horrific. It, oh, did anyone play Order 1880 or something? Isn't that experience game? It was it was the probably the best game I played the whole time I was there. Oh my god! Mm. Wow! Like, just the weapon system in it was incredible. Mm. It's not just like your regular like third person shooter. You actually like um oh, what was the material, but. You, the rounds you fired left a cloud, and if you shot a flare into it, that cloud ignited. Wow. So if the enemies were behind cover, you can just spray behind it and, like, ignite the cloud, and they come running out screaming. Yeah. And they had bullet time, so it's real slow, slow motion as well, and it was just really intricate and amazing. <laughs> I've been um, playing Mortal Kombat X, and it's... The fighting mechanics and the perks that you can choose are amazing. Mm. But they also took out something from um, Injustice God of Among Us as well, the environmental attacks, like using the environments for your own advantage. Mm. I was thinking, 
Now that's now that's the awesome game in its prime time, ready to go. But um, I was I actually gave a go at Scorpion, and his fatality was so brutal. Like you punch out the chest, and you have a sword. Uh, actually, sorry. Just heads up. Spoil alert. If you don't want to hear this, go somewhere else now. Okay. No, not not you, Billy. We need we need you in the podcast. I'm talking about the viewers. If you don't want to hear, oh. if you don't want to hear this, and you don't want this to be spoiled, go somewhere else now, viewers. But yeah, um, what Scorpion did is he actually punched through the chest. The heart flops out. Still managed to pop a couple of bloods. Just like, oh god. <laughs> Brought his sword out. The players was kneeling and. Just in the right moment, he cut the front face right off. And his tongue, like, once he fell off, the tongue was still moving and the brain was, like, dropping out. <laughs> I was thinking, holy shit, man. That's gone way too far with fatality. Yeah, the writers of that game seem to be, like, incarcerated psychological patients. <laughs> you just... Just yikes! That's just mm-hmm. very brutal. Uh Poetry. Yeah, and as Chris just missed out on uh, Mortal Kombat X. Um. Well, yeah, I think I think we have talked about um, the EB games a little too. Uh, I think we might keep them going. Um, Robert. Is there any games that you have played that is actually pretty much awesome? Other than, like, one particular game that you found awesome? Uh, I couldn't choose just one. Did, did anyone play Shadows of Mordor? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Huh. I was hanging for it. It was what I went to play, but I didn't actually play, end up playing it. I played everything else. You played everything else, uh, except for Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, because it was in the back corner, and I didn't really, it didn't stand out all that much, so I just forgot about it. But yeah, I've played on PC. It's good on PC. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm a PC gamer because like I'm intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we I'll go. Play, I'll play everything. Yeah. Just yeah, man. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Message. <laughs> Message. Yeah, um, it was a notification. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's alright. But yeah, just for just for a little recap for um Christian about Mortal Kombat X that yeah. that was playable in the game. Yeah. Um, one of Scorpion's fatality is one of the most brutal fatalities there ever is. Cool. But um, I'm not going to spoil it for him due to the fact I don't want him to. Like not play the game once it comes out. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, get on PC. <laughs> you get it on PC. It's but <laughs> another another notification. Yeah, okay. Turning that off now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Let's move on to another one. Who have seen um the movie called um <laughs> Annabelle? Isn't that that like disgustingly oh. horrifying one? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say disgustingly or horrifying. I have watched it, but mm. it's not too it's not, horrifying. It's not scary. It's not scary. It's it's actually supposed to be a pre sequel to The Conjuring before The Conjuring. It yeah, it is. Before. I saw that movie and I'm thinking, I'll just have a look. Let's just hope it's a mm. look. Mm. Here's a hint. Put it on silent. <laughs> Here's a hint, mute that guy. <laughs> so yeah, I had a look, I have, I have watched the movie, I thought it was scary, it was not. I I hate to say this to the people who is a horror fan with all kinds of me, but I had to say this, Annabelle is not scary, it's just a couple of, ju- a couple of minor... <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's make it. 
Oh, I'm gonna look at everything now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that I'm keeping getting interrupted by a, a notification buzz. I'm the one that interrupts you. That's my role in this little game we play. <laughs> and so far, you uh, so far, Chris. Uh, Chris is winning. I'm losing. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, see you, my dear lads. We have we had a little competition. On podcast number three, he interrupts me all the goddamn time. <laughs> and by all far, he made it even... I don't interrupt you all that often. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> but that one line that you said, it's too intense. That drove me up the wall. <laughs> yeah, back to the tent story. That was great. All right. If you haven't heard the 10 story, go back and... Go back go back to podcast to three, it. because I ain't going to talk about this story again, because... No. It, derail. It, need, it only needs to say... It only needs to be said once. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> bloody Trouble was trying to get me to say uh, tell the story about that on his bloody Google Plus Hangouts. Yeah. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> they're, they're good fun. I recommend everyone jumps on that. Yeah. No, well... Where was I? Um, yeah, Annabelle. It wasn't actually. It wasn't actually quite scary. It's just mm. some minor jump scares, and that's about it. But, yeah, above all, it's just straight up not scary. They could have. They could have made it a little bit more better with a little bit more scare in it, like. Probably put some blood on the wall, get somebody killed along the way, but no, they just have to pay attention on one one specific family. Like it could be anyone else. Why do you have to choose one because, family? Because um, because the director wasn't there. The actual director who directed the actual movie, mm-hmm. The Conjuring, wasn't there. He was doing um the Fast and Furious Seven, so he wasn't doing the actual movie. Oh, oh God. Okay. It's always a good thing when you don't have the director there. Yeah. While I was watching Annabelle, my family was watching The Maze Runner. Who watched? Uh, who watched that? Nah, I haven't been to movies lately. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've been working too much. Uh, oh, yeah. I've just been to watch Gallipoli because I'm in mean, it. Uh, have you seen the trailers for that show? What? Nah. What was it? Gallipoli, that's Gallip- Channel 9. Oh, the... Yeah. yeah. Gallipoli. Yeah, uh, I play, I play left I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie. But... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, ours is kind of like a mini-series version of that, but just a little more intense emotionally. Mm. <laughs> the bloody roller coaster. Yeah. That comes out Anzac Day next year. I expect everyone to watch it and cry. Yeah. Uh, I'm just being hooked on um, Gotham. Oh yes, the um, the sorry about um, Jim Gordon trying to stop the um, criminals, right? Yeah. I haven't yeah, been. It's really good. I haven't been watching that lately. I haven't. I didn't know it was actually it on. Just started today. I, I've seen episode one, two, three. So I show you the latest episodes. Ah. Uh. So they're not they're not like movie lengths, they're just um Alright. It's a it's a prequel to the Gotham. It's before Batman, before the Penguin, it's before the Riddler. Mm. So it's pretty cool. Speaking of prequel, um who expects um Claptrap to be one of the choosing characters of the game of Ballands two? Uh, not too pretty. Uh, I better play Warlands. Yeah. Um. So I've just been playing Dota. Just Dota. I've been playing all day Dota. All day yeah. Dota. I just got back into League of Legends. Oh, so I, I, st- I played it like like year, last year. I got hooked on it for a bit, and I was just top of the hater. I don't know used to it. Yeah. Me, I've I've actually got myself hooked on to um Gary's mod right now, Trouble in Terrace Town more likely. Yeah, yeah. everybody starts playing that. Everybody plays that. Like what do you expect? Gary's mod Trouble in Terrace Town is a fun game to actually play because you can actually start shooting people whenever you're a traitor. 
Like, you make your own stuff. Yeah. You find the sneakiest way that you can actually kill the people, but um, other than that, once you can't, if you can't find the sneakiest way to do it, you go guns blazing. Uh, Robert, you still with us, or you? Because you've been, yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. I just just want to keep this up. So, um, all right. So, um, so what did everyone? Does everyone have a topic to actually talk about? Uh, talk about like for um. I didn't say it right. I've already done some shameless self-promoting, so I'm not. Is that me? Um, no, that's Luke. Um, it will okay. just it will just go about fifteen more minutes, Luke. I can assure you for that. If you need to go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just it's, we got a whole lot of footage to do. Yeah, <laughs> so. I'll, I'll try and not keep it too long, but um, yeah, about slightly about ten to fifteen minutes because I don't think I'll be able to hold on for twenty five minutes or so. Oh, but um, we got actually some new games that will be coming out. Yeah. So we got we got Dragon Age um we got the new Dragon Age coming out. We got um yeah. Project Cars. Unfortunately that was the um Halo, the Master Chief Collection Limited Edition, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Oh good god. Another Call of Duty another Call of Duty game. I um, thought I thought they were stopped. I thought no, no, they'll never stop. <laughs> never. To call it again, run out of uh, I just wish they can. Uh, every time when there's a Call of Duty game, some of them are just not that good. Some of them, mm. not all of them. Some of them. Okay. Call of Duty Two was good. Call of Duty Two was good. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two and first one. First one. First Modern Warfare. Yeah. yeah. Well, I played. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3, they were alright. Call of Duty Black Ops, I've that was fine. I've played all of them. <laughs> but um, Call of Duty Ghosts, I just... Just... No. That was, that was garbage. That was just... Ro- ro- I was garbage. Just... Just no. North America versus South America? What is wrong? No. Just no. Black Ops was good. The first Black Ops and Black Ops 2. In uh. story mode, the actual campaign. Uh, yeah. Um, we also got Sunset Ever- uh, Overdrive. Fucking love that. Fucking love that yeah. game. Yeah, that looks, looks fun. Yeah. Basically, that game, Sunset Overdrive, you can actually... Actually, I actually got an interview with, with from that person. I'll put a link in the description down below. So you can actually go find that viewers. But um, Sunset Overdrive is actually quite fun to actually... Play it. It's yeah. actually very fun. It's like Dead Rising a bit. It's like Dead Rising with the customizations and stuff. But more comedic, uh, more comedy and yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. More, it's more colorful and stuff. Yeah. And uh, in four days' time, we got The Evil Within coming out. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh my god, I love horror. I can't wait for that game. It looks awesome. Yeah, basically, I just can't wait for that game to come out. Um. Robert, Luke, is there uh, and Billy, is there any games in particular that you're waiting for it to come out? No, I'm just waiting for the new Android. The new Android. Uh, I play old games, so I just I discover old ones. I don't wait for new. Yeah, base. Well, you know what? I have been um, researching throughout my whole entire lo- uh, whole entire year. Someone's actually bringing back Crash Bandicoot to its regular form. Uh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. That's bullshit. Really? N- no, it ain't bullshit. I've been searching these two people up, and those two and those guys are YouTubers and also yet game developers as well. Oh. So. Can't be because last year they, they gave us like a spoof, like a they were, they were teasing us. They were they were gonna do a remastered edition for the PS3. They never released it. For- Okay, well, that's not that's not those developers. I'm talking about a you. I'm talking about the YouTubers, like small, like small town YouTubers. At, at well, are actually making the game right now. They're actually designing, 
like designing the character, designing the levels, they actually are trying to bring back Crash Bandicoot to its regular form. Mm. Yeah. Um, he's, um, the, the YouTubers are the Stimpleland, the Pact Strikes Back, and last but not least, the Crystal um, Crash Bandicoot Crystal Wrath. Okay. So, yeah, just a little heads up to you viewers. Those um those um YouTubers are actually trying to bring Crash ba uh, Bandicoot back to its original form, like um, like Crash Twin Sanity form, more likely. The best Crash was um Crash. Uh, the only Crash game was good at was the first one. <laughs> the first, yeah, the first ones. Yeah, first Crash, and then later with Crash Bash, and that's all. Yeah. Then Crash, then Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex just went down the drain because of mm. its loading time. Was that one on the PS2? That was on the PS2 and the Xbox as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So, yeah, that's that's a that's a breaking news for you guys that Crash Bandicoot is trying to get back to its original form. That's right. Um, but it's gonna be indie. That's indie developers. Yeah, indie developers. Let's say that indie developers more likely. They wouldn't have the rights to it. Maybe, maybe they would. But mm. um, any topics that you brought along with you, um, Luke, Billy, or Robert? No, we covered mine, brother. Billy. Uh, except for Armageddon. Armageddon in Melbourne this weekend. Oh yeah, it's Armageddon. Yep. Yeah. Oh and, yeah. Uh, my cameraman will be there interviewing cosplayers again. Oh yeah, Pax um Pax Australia is also on yeah. this month as well. Yeah. Oh, wait, that, yeah. That, that's gonna be expensive. Yeah, you know, expensive to get in that. Um. Wait, how much does it cost for Pax Australia for the tickets? Hmm. Hundred something. Oh, that's lots of four. So, yeah, that's why I'm not going. Yikes. Oh, well, I think I should wrap this up about in um, three to four minutes, I think. Like, tops. Uh, Robert. Okay. Uh, okay. Any, to any topic that you brought along with you, um, Billy, other than the iPhone 6? Uh, oh, what about Windows 10? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still fine if I'm Windows Seven, so yeah. Well, I can't. I can't tell because I'm using the Mac computer right now. So sorry about that. Oh, okay. so yes. <laughs> you know what? Some people are actually thinking about every time when I start the gameplay. They're thinking, "How the hell are you managed to turn so quick on Gary Small Trouble in Terrace Town with using a Mac?" I just slide, slide, slide quickly. But, um, yeah. Got any topics that you brought along with you, um, Robert? No, that wasn't very well planned. Uh, Bloody mm. Robert. <laughs> Shh. Yeah. Disappoint me, son. Yeah, I think... Uh, you know what? I think I might wrap this up now, guys, because... Yeah. I, I yeah, think so everyone everyone has other things to deal with, and um, I think I don't want to hold you guys here for too long. But um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for um, joining the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it was pretty yeah. fun. Thanks. Yeah, it actually was pretty fun. Um, hopefully, yeah. we'll meet you guys again for another podcast, and hopefully I'll see you viewers for another time for podcast number 12 with four new viewers, uh, four new special guests with us. And hopefully some reoccurring guests, but um yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I'll try to make it. yeah. So I'd like to thank um I like to thank Luke and um Christian Thanks. for our reoccurring guests. Thank you too. And I'd like to thank our special guests Bailey and Robert Beckley for jumping on. Thank you guys for being on the podcast. Thanks. So um, until then, guys, this is me, Colonel Phoenix, signing off for another podcast. Hopefully we'll see you again for podcast number 12. Until then, okay. see you Later. another time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.